I mean, there's like some days where I ask Ian, like, have I ruined your life? Like, I feel like some, because you get so many messages yeah. where like you have to think about it. There's a follow-up question there. Did I ruin your life? What do you mean by starting the OnlyFans or just like in general by getting together? Okay, wait a minute. Here's the question. How would your wife been. feel, Adam, if you started an OnlyFans that was aimed at gay men? She would not primarily. like it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She would definitely not like it and even for a million dollars a year. Yes. Yeah. That's so weird. Why is that how is that weird? <laughs> it's just it's it's presumptuous of you to think that I don't know my wife well enough oh to know the God. truth. Oh, that's what's weird. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, you do know. That's why you don't want to ask her. If you want to stick around, let's watch a video together. We like to do edgy humor on the show, obviously. So this video yeah. is why I dub stopped doing edgy humor. I guess he was on the A Tree A Tree podcast. Yeah. All right. Sitch, you got the watch together, huh? I do. Did you get it in your stream so your audience can see it as well? Yeah. Do you have a take? So there's a, a little bit I maybe they go into the backstory here in the video. I'm not sure how much of it. Do you know I dubs do you know the situation here with I dubs and do you know any of this backstory on I dubs? I know I know that they used to be like um pretty Yeah, I used to, I know that they used to be pretty edgy with their humor. I know they're right. not anymore. I'm kind of a fan of edgy humor, so Okay, yeah. good. Then you'll like this video. Yeah, iDubs did a series called The Content Cop where he would review other people's shitty content. Yeah. Which I thought was comedy gold. Totally brilliant. But now he's reimagined those as nasty hit pieces that he never should have done. Which I'm like, iDubs says that. Yeah. Have you wow. seen this? Yeah. I have not. That's shocking. This is fucking crazy. All right. I've been with him for two content cops, through two content cops. And I help, like, I mean, I... Yeah, a lot of people's, um, uh, I guess criticism is like, oh, like, that witch or that, yeah. you know. Uh, why, what, what, why is iDubs trying to appear like red, white trash, redneck? What's happening here? He's got the mustache, but he's growing a mullet out. So do you also know that... What's happening? So Ke Keemstar did an event that was influencer boxing. Do you know about yes. that? Yes. I do. Yeah, yeah I know was, he was in the fight, right? Yeah. No, I, I think IDubs did his own event that wasn't a Keemstar related event. Oh, okay. So mm -hmm. Keemstar did a boxing event and then IDubs was going to do his own boxing event that was not, that was not, I guess it's more real, <laughs> like less. I guess people were accusing Keemstar of creating fake drama between the boxers. Mm. And okay. I dubs philosophically believes with this fake drama situation. Isn't that isn't that interesting? Because a lot of YouTube is really is well, I don't want to say conflicted. It seems like people do not like being lied to, so they don't like videos that are fake. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. a lot of people do fake videos and are accused of doing fake videos. Yeah. So, but drama is a place where it can happen organically, but people can push it to like harder extremes because they know it's getting attention and they both feed off of that. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I mean, you, you've experienced that, right, Stardust? I mean, you do panels and stuff like that. You know when things are getting hot. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you play into it or do you? Um. Sometimes I'll like ask questions that'll get people to fight a little bit more. That okay. Get them to fight a little <laughs> like... bit more. Yeah. But, but yeah. still, you know, so truth seeking. Okay. Not lying. That's good. I'm conflicted on this. I want your advice, Stardust. Cause I. Adam wants to lie. No, to no, no. Dirty, dirty. I don't want to lie. I don't want to lie. No. Like, I watch some of Destiny's content and Destiny does his best to be like calm, cool, and collected. That's kind of my perception mm -hmm. of it. And I think that that's a good strategy, but at the same time, I also think you really draw a lot of attention when you get triggered and get angry and 
emotional. Like you watch Tim Definitely Pool's videos all the time. I don't. I wouldn't. I don't know I if think, I'd say he's. I think the key. Collecting. I think the key is is don't be the triggered person. Get other people triggered. So like, how <laughs> much of chat? How much of chat is triggered at the Amber Heard take? Right. And you're not triggered at all. Them. Yeah. Smart. But they. No, I mean, the I'm not really. The chat is right, not really smart. on screen though. Like yeah. you. Yeah, like, but I mean, again, like I, how many people? Like, I don't know. Like, people are willing to be the triggered um, caller in, I guess, if you're <laughs> if you have a spicy enough take for them. So, yeah. Do you watch? Uh, if you watch Tim Pool's content. Tim Pool is super angry in like every single video now yeah. because yeah. that anger definitely draw uh, drives engagement. People like to see angry mm -hmm. people. So yeah, but triggered and angry is different because because Tim kind of has mastered for right or wrong. Purposes. Oh yeah, the anger righteous being... indignation. You're you know, right. Where triggered is seen as like brutal. He is weak. triggered though. I mean, I can't really. Well, I mean, he is. I agree. Yeah. But... It's crazy the amount of trigger I, I think you can be like, um, you can be like performatively like outraged over things, I guess. And mm -hmm. I, that gets views, I guess. But like being, nobody wants to be like the triggered person because then you're just in low cow territory. Right, right, yeah. Right. It's a, it's a touchy line you got to walk. That's mm -hmm. why, that's why I'm asking. Yeah, I think uh, I'm, tr I'm drifting more towards the calm, cool and collected, even though... <laughs> I mean, the voting, the voting thing gets me a little triggered, definitely. I just dis Anyone brings up economics, you get very Disenfranchising triggered. people, it's, it's evil. It's totally oh evil. People need uh, to be allowed to, to... It's like basically saying, okay, you're 70 years old, now you're, we're kicking you out of the country. What, are you going to take their passport true, to? deport them. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? That's so bad. I mean, we shouldn't deport them because then there's someone else's problem. We should just kill them. It's so bad. You guys better. And they be can joking. be recycled, you know. Uh, Huck Finn, thanks so much for being four months. Free Will Seeker says, Sam Hyde answered the iDubs question already. It's because of his wife, Yoko Ono, who is also his manager now. I mean, that yeah. was, people have been bit, uh, blaming uh, Hanaja, Haniza, whatever her name is. For, Lisa, yeah. Yeah, from like, the beginning they've been blaming her so she, we covered she did an only fans account i think they talk about it in, in this clip. yeah so I, I mean i'm you know unless someone has like an evidence for that that she's the problem i mean people were saying that from day one so i i don't i'm not gonna just magically judge uh magically believe sam hyde's judgment didn't you that. but don't you i mean you blamed hunter avalon's transformation on his wife so yeah but he said that Okay, so there's evidence. He admitted to, to that. Okay. I, I didn't know he admitted to it. I mean, I think Idub's kind of admits to it in this clip. Let's watch. Okay, well, maybe he does. We'll see. A lot changed of, him. Or a lot like of people, things have, have gotten oh, bad since they've gotten yeah. together type thing. A lot of people attack Anissa. People are, like, obsessed with... Well, they just don't understand that she's been, like, helping me create videos since uh, we got together. And a yeah. lot of the things that... A lot of the videos that people love... Um, or with her help and involvement. And it's been the same thing all the way The rice scum one, I remember you were there. Yeah. You had a lot, you were at a lot of input on that yeah. one. Yeah, the rice scum one was a lot of fun. I really like, but I mean, uh, I also take ownership for the Tana, the, the Tana thing mm. was, uh, was my- oh, that was so long ago. Was my idea, was my stupid idea. Yeah. I was the one she that was- She suggested like, we can go to the <laughs> place. It's just I, in San Francisco. I'm like, it is just in San Francisco. Yeah, that drive and- Oh wait, so she's saying that she was, she was helping him make all the, the videos we like, yeah. all the content kind of edgy videos. Right, yeah. Okay. Now she's had a change of heart. Oh, I see. She feels like those are oppressing people. Mm everything and now i think back to it i'm like i can't believe we literally harassed an 18 year old child uh at her show <laughs> that kind of that's a i guess when you put it that way it's probably like my most embarrassed like it is it's fucking yeah. embarrassing but i mean it was things that a lot of people loved i mean yeah i mean it was it was like uh i can recognize why it was entertaining i could also recognize why it was completely out of line yeah I, she could have owned us. Didn't it? 
He didn't yeah. just randomly go to Tana Mongu's place to. Didn't she attack him online? Didn't she try to get him canceled? She did. Yeah, she did. Um, I believe, if I remember correctly, she was saying that I can't believe you say the N word or whatever, or something like that. Oh. She's, so she drew first blood, basically. Yeah, she drew, and then he released a whole bunch of clips of her saying uh, it, So On January 24th, 2017, Mongu posted a video titled The N-Word, which received over 7 million views. Um, oh, no, this is her video in response to iDubs. So he started it. Well, no, no, no. This is just what this, this Wikipedia article starts. I'm pretty... He didn't just show up. Whatever. I, I don't know. This feels lame. Honestly, yeah. If, if she just would've... acted mature, yeah. If she would have, turned right? It was a risky in, move, but if... she, but she really couldn't. It's going to turn out better for you guys how that went. We, we couldn't believe that couldn't she see. made a uh, video afterward and she didn't know the that whole. It was I'll tell us. you, mm. she had uh... no idea. She just thought it was like a crazy mm -hmm. fan. It was crazy when we oh, were wow. in the car. So we like drove and we stayed with a friend and we were driving back. We did like the seven eight hour drive, and in the car after everything <laughs> had transpired. Ian's sitting there, and I'm sitting there, and I looked at him, and I was like, I don't think she knew that was you. She described you as a psycho fan in her video. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She That's didn't know. awesome. She, and, I mean, and, that played perfectly into your yeah. video. I I think, I don't know. I was one, we did, like, sort of do an impulse buy of her merch while we were there. We did, yeah. And we loaded up on the merch, yeah. like, in the line. Right, I remember that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's like... Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's part of, like... Okay, the timeline is she made multiple racist tweets and snapchats throughout when she was younger including the one if you remember where she said you're a stupid n-word which mm -hmm. idubs played like a million times um that got exposed when she came out as pro black lives matter she apologized and deleted it and then the next year she attacked idubs seemingly out of the blue saying idubs has three million people that subscribes to him and he openly says the n-word and retard kill yourself so she told idubs to kill himself uh then she deleted it and that's what prompted idubs to the following month uh go to see her and say say n-word to her so i i don't i think he's being i think this is lame i think she kind of opened herself up for this despite the fact that she's 18 i mean do 18 year olds do super shit sure but I don't know. I mean, none this of is... this is the end of the world. Jeez. What the... Yeah. This is like, like first on. world problems here. <laughs> right. Yeah. The history of like the channel and stuff, but definitely like, look, I mean, as almost yeah. 30 year olds or he is 30, it's like you look back on that and you're like, holy shit, I can't believe we fucking. It was a different time back then for <laughs> sure. I don't think it's fair to say it was that different. It was just. Uh... I think I was different for sure. Well, that's, I think people have the same problem with me. Mm -hmm. Is it the same I have a problem with you? Yeah. Is that we both used to be like edgy comedians and we were a part of the larger commentary mm -hmm. community. Mm -hmm. And as we've aged, we've realized that, uh, you know, you want to conduct yourself differently. Well, when you start, you start interacting caring. with the actual world and you're not in your bedroom creating like a, like sitting in your bedroom for 19 hours, creating a hit piece on someone, right. <laughs> basically, like, right. and you actually interact with human beings, you sort of realize like that isn't really real life mm. also you i know? think like to be fair like the only fan stuff like really was a huge wake-up call to both of us like emotionally what happens when like the internet kind of collectively shits on you mm -hmm. so by the way if people don't know so you guys started dating mm -hmm. you decided to make an only fans but that was like years after you guys were already together right? yeah mm -hmm. we were together for four years pretty much at yeah. that point and so then when you made that only fans yeah. there was like a huge a lot of people of cared how come they're not asking ethan if ethan is a member of the only fans i mean that's really all i care about well th this idea I, I mean i i'm sympathetic to saying like listen there's an 18 year old kid they're going to say stupid shit online. Well, there's lots of people right now in the political commentary space. They're young and they have very dumb opinions. And maybe they'll mature out of them as they get older. But one hope. they still, I mean, you have like like the Tana situation they're talking about. I don't know how old Leafy was when he made the video. Like if you have people that are 18 and they have massive audiences and they're saying really stupid shit, I think you're allowed to... 
criticize them <laughs> for it. They deserve to get dunked on at, at a certain point, right? There you go. They deserve to be to be mercilessly mocked. Not in Ethan and Idub's world. In Ethan and Idub's world, all of this stupidity that we're surrounded with has to just we have to pretend that we're not witnessing it because I don't know to create a safe space for these people to grow up or something I'm not well, sure. Well, it's just because he's like, oh, people attacked us because, you know, she started an OnlyFans and so now he's had his come I mean, to Jesus that, moment. I could see the argument like let's say they're like thinking about their future interactions with like the actual world and mm -hmm. if um if they're like if their video library is just them like constantly dunking on people, um, I don't know how successful iDubs would be in making uh, like documentary pieces, right? Oh, of course, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I get, yeah, that's definitely true if he wants to go in a new direction. Um, but I mean, you, that's not really a moral argument like that he was making. That's just kind of yeah. a, a practical argument. Like, you know, no one's going to want to do a documentary with me if all my YouTube videos are me just crapping on people because then they'll assume I'm going to attack them. Mm -hmm. um, I don't I don't ever remember Ethan or iDubs going too far, though. And I mean, I'm pretty sensitive to that kind of stuff. So I don't remember them like, you know, beating up on people in ways that were really nefarious. I mean, yeah, it just well, seemed like jokes. It, it it always seemed fair criticism to me, and also they were going after like big people too. Yes, yeah, they weren't so going just, after like some nobody. I describe hit piece as you know, mm -hmm. there's misinformation in it to give right. you the wrong impression about somebody, and I don't feel like they were giving misinformation about people. I mean. I used to watch a lot of Ethan's videos and stuff. I think a lot of people did. I mean, sad. It seemed sad, like he sad, made sad. more fun of himself than anything. And I mean, he he like stood up for Humongous. And I mean, he had, he talked to Jordan Peterson. He had Jordan Peterson on. He since denounced mm -hmm. Jordan Peterson for <laughs> I don't know. I can't even really tell you why he's denounced mm -hmm. Jordan Peterson. I guess he's. Mm -hmm. He's come to believe that Jordan Peterson's a transphobe or something. Mm -hmm. Well, it really know. seems like once uh, Ethan started to get a lot more money, he started hanging out in a lot more like mm -hmm. woke Californian circles mm -hmm. that he just sort of fell into. I know that. When he was circles. doing his streaming, because he's getting all these like big guests on, it just right. seemed like he kind of fell into that uh, mindset, which is sad, but. Which was very mm -hmm. surprising. It was, though, genuinely shocking because it is like my biggest. In I mean, there's like some days where I ask Ian, like, have I ruined your life? Like, I feel like some because you get so many messages yeah. where like you have to think about it. It's like, I mean, I showed up, you know, 2016 and now here we are and Ian is doing different stuff. Like Ian as a. That's it's such this is such a terrible interview because it's just Ethan. The, like the there's a follow up question there. Did I ruin your life? What do you mean by starting the OnlyFans or just like in general by getting together? Mm -hmm. I mean, don't you well, wanna, don't you want to know that? What are they talking about here? It, I mean, I, both, I guess. I mean, Makes I would sense. not like my girlfriend or wife to start an OnlyFans. I'd be like, mm, maybe don't start the OnlyFans. I would say. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um. I mean, yeah. Well, here's a question. Would it be a deal breaker for you? For me? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. What about you, Stardust? Um, if I had a partner who wanted to start an OnlyFans? Yeah. Um, I probably wouldn't like it. Yeah, I probably wouldn't like Would it. Would you break up with him over it? Possibly. Hmm. Possibly. The worst case scenario, the worst thing is to not be down with it and stay with them, Sitch. I mean, then you're just going to be, you're going to develop animosity. Resentment. Yeah, resentment, yeah. animosity. <laughs> like, I don't know, gonna, like, like if, if I was with someone and I really, like, we had a really great relationship. Mm -hmm. I really love this person. Then why is she starting an OnlyFans? Well, hold on a second. <laughs> 
Well, but yeah, but you just added a, you added a very deep assumption that the only people that are unhealthy or upset get start OnlyFans. Okay, um, but if I'm in a good relationship with someone who I really love, and we have a good relationship, and obviously they're super hot, and if they want to do an OnlyFans where it was just like pictures, not like fucking, like obviously I wouldn't be down with them having sex with other people yeah. or anything like that. But if it's just like them doing solo stuff, I mean, I wouldn't be like super happy about it. But if they're like really want to do it for whatever reason and it was super important to them and if they if i said no they were going to break up with me or we were going to break up i guess over it i don't know I, th- I think i'd be i don't i just feel like i don't care that much about it what if it's non-sexual only fans because well, like uh like i was contemplating this like i would never do like an only fans that's like sexual or mm-hmm. anything like that but like what if it was just like an only fans where i posted pictures of me doing like um like really random things like, like um, folding laundry, like yeah, or like doing or dishes, like, yeah, or something like that. I don't know. Like, what if what if it's just like, what if it's non-sexual? I don't know. Well, but why would anyone be opposed to that? Because it would be funny. Well, I, I think it. <laughs> like, I could do it in like a. I could do it in like a mascot suit or something. I don't know. Right. right. Some... Like you know, you know, somewhere someone's getting off to it. I know. There's you can't separate the sexual aspect. Yeah, to it, but somebody even if you're is doing somebody's dishes... getting off to a stream right now. Like I'm sure. sure. Like there have been times on Twitch that I've been streaming where there's somebody in the audience. There's one person in the audience who's like yoinking it, and you know, right, I don't know right. about it. But I mean, I know there's probably there. on our streams. There's probably like five or six. Let's well, the amount of sexual be, let's harassment be that Adam gets. But yeah. okay, wait, okay. Here's here's a good here's a good way of conceptualizing this, Adam. Say you're dating someone, great mm-hmm. relationship with them. They want to do an OnlyFans, but they're only going to show feet pics. Right. I mean, I guess I'm open to that. That's not a big deal. Yeah. Okay. So they're not even identifiable. Well, say they were identifiable. Well, that I don't like that. Yeah. So you just don't. You just don't want to be identifiable, right? That's part of it. Yeah. Do you have to be for OnlyFans? I don't know. Well, I don't. I don't know. If people, I don't. I've never done. They want it. I want to make sure. I don't have an OnlyFans. I don't. I've never subscribed to an OnlyFans. Okay. Let's say. Okay. Your girlfriend is gonna have fully clothed body shots of her wearing normal clothing Mm -hmm. and feet pics do you think this my question there's so much interpersonal dynamic that's missing here okay she started the only fans now is she raking in the money and now i dubs is like oh yeah she's like you know that old comedy that we used to do i never really found that very funny and i dubs is like Okay. <laughs> now that you're, now that you're fully now that we have two houses and three rental properties because of your OnlyFans. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know the situation here. But. Listen, we watched that Soul Snack video on Sunday, Adam. Okay, yeah. she's getting forty grand a month. Maybe. I know. You don't know. <laughs> maybe. Idubs is keeping her out of the clubs. Okay. No, but wait a minute. Answer my question, Adam. So if, if you're if you're a significant other mm-hmm. doing feet pics. They're clearly identifiable. Yeah, I don't like you. It. We, would you break up with them over that? Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's so surprising to it's me. It's over. Why? Why do you care? It's their feet. I just do. I mean, I just care. Why? Why? The heart <laughs> I, wants I what it wants. It's their feet. I mean, who cares? Okay. What if it was like non-sexual i think i might i might make a an exception for like if i had a significant other who did like only fans but mm-hmm. all they did was like um like take pictures of them like climbing trees or something on it or so, i don't know shaking trees or something well yeah that's, that's not yeah that's not a big deal because that would be who funny cares? to me well wait a minute what if it's pictures of them climbing trees but you know that all the people that are paying for it are masturbating to it does that I mean, change? Then I would be feeling weird about that. Yeah. Hmm. And you, Adam, you wouldn't be, you wouldn't like that? I mean, I wouldn't like that. No. Okay. Bunch of people masturbating to my significant other just so doesn't, it's, so it's, it doesn't so seem it's, like. The thing that really bothers you is not what your significant other is doing. It's the fact that there are other people that are getting off to your significant other. Is, I think that's, the problem. that's generally, yeah, that's generally why people feel uncomfortable about that kind of thing. Well, yeah. no, I think part of it's like, oh, I don't want people to I mean, I see dubs, my girlfriend naked or I don't. I dubs know. before he goes to sleep at night, he's thinking, 
is there anyone out there that needs to get off? Are you done? (laughs) Have you finished your work for the evening? I don't want any of these horny guys to go to bed. What if they, what if you're single and they're already like, before you start dating them, you're like, Oh, this is a famous, uh, porn actress only or something, but she doesn't fuck other people. Let me, let me just like, I'm not going to be in a relationship with you now. Let me ask it in a, in a different way here. Yeah. Do you think, okay, you've got two situations here. You've got your girl, your girlfriend, your significant other mm-hmm. without the only fans and your relationship with her and you're in love and you know, it's deep and meaningful. And then you've got your same relationship. Only she has an only fans too. And is posting nude pictures that other guys are whacking off to all the time. Mm-hmm. And uh, your is your relationship going to be as deep and meaningful, or is it just is that? Gonna, yeah, I, I don't see why that would have such a massive. It wouldn't have a massive impact on me personally. You're you're saying massive. I'm asking, would there be any impact? I'm sh- I can't. It's hard for me to conceptualize because I've never been in a situation remotely right. like that. Um. So I'm sure there would be some impact, obviously. Right. Okay. So, but uh, if you, you know, if you, like how you guys split the chores if is not going to have an impact on the relationship, <laughs> right? That's not Well, gonna, I don't know. What if I'm doing all the fucking hard chores and she's doing all the pussy chores? Well, that, okay? that could be the, maybe I, maybe there's a better example, but I'm just saying like, there are certain things in a relationship that aren't that are going to have zero impact. And you're already admitting yeah, that there's going to be gonna some have, impact. Yes, it's going to have an impact. Okay, so right. the next question is, is the impact going to be better for your relationship or worse for your relationship? I would assume uh, it's going to be worse. Okay. Why Why are you making that assumption? Maybe it's going to be better. I mean, it would, I would assume it's going to be neutral or worse. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't see why, like, why would it... Unless, I mean, unless you're including money... If you're including the money that's being generated as being better, then it, then I guess it could be better. But the act itself would probably not be better. I mean, she can put you on an allowance. It'd be great. You <laughs> have you like a little sexist <laughs> fuck. You'll have like a little extra spending money for uh-huh. you. Yeah, listen. I want an extra allowance, okay? <laughs> I don't know. This is this is a weird thing. We've talked about this before, and I mean and you, I mean, Stardust, you said you even contemplated starting an OnlyFans, but just like a humorous one. It would be like a joke one, and it would, probably wouldn't get a lot of posts on it anyways. So. Right. Right. I, yeah. I, obviously, I can't start an OnlyFans because I'm not a woman. It seems like the market <laughs> You know is how right. many people have been asking As to start joke. OnlyFans? <laughs> so. I know, but obviously I wouldn't. We have that. a We have a lot of gay men who really... Would love for Adam to start an OnlyFans in our audience. If I would say that the real money in yeah. OnlyFans, I mean, I'm talking, you know, you're making a million dollars a year, is in the women catering to men market. Obviously. Not the men catering to other men market. Obviously. If I could start an OnlyFans and make a million dollars in a year, I would definitely contemplate it. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Here's the question. How would your wife mean? feel, Adam, if you started an OnlyFans that was aimed at gay men? She would not primarily. like it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She would definitely not like it. And even for a million dollars a year. Yes. Yeah. But that's the thing, though. This is the this is the the trouble with. Why is it really trouble? This came up when we talked to LP because. You know, this is such a weird situation that women, young women are in because, I mean, that's the kind of, that's life changing money in a relatively short Have amount of time. Have you talked to your wife about this? Or but you just most guessing? people, most women don't make that type of money on OnlyFans. Yeah, like, of course. Yeah. Right. Most right. women really don't. It, like the ones who make that type of money are very rare. So, right. Okay. So it's not a dilemma for people. I don't think it's that big of a dilemma as okay. people making or are making it out to be. I wonder how much money uh, I Dubs' girlfriend makes. Obviously, she made the decision to jump in. And I Dubs stopped making videos as soon as she did, so I don't know. 
Well, I don't know. He's been pretty, he was pretty spotty before then, I think. He was but, already pretty spotty. Yeah. yeah. But, okay, Adam, I want you to ask your wife. Why, Sitch? If you can make a you're, million, because it's be, You're getting it's, weird it's, here. It's funny. How is my it weird? Wife, my wife is not part of the show, okay? Your wife can definitely be part of the show. I want no. you to ask her the POV question, and then want... I want you to ask your no. wife. No. Ask her, say, listen, honey, Come if I can on. make a million dollars a year. Sitch. Selling my Sitch. nude pictures of myself to gay men, at, would Sitch. you object to this? I can, I can, you don't want to ask her because you know she's going to say, I would have no problem with that. Sitch. That's why you don't want to ask her. I'm not asking you to ask questions of your significant other or your mom or your brother, <laughs> okay? If Come I was on. married, you could, I would ask her any of these questions. When I'm are not, you going to get married? I'm not a pussy. When are you okay? going to get married? Sitch? I'm not a pussy. Don't Sitch, be a pussy, Adam. Sitch, what's going on? Don't be, don't be a wimp. Don't what be whipped we? here. Ask her. Chat, Look I want this. you to bully Adam until he asks his wife Why? she's a problem with him starting a gay OnlyFans. Why? Because I want to hear what she has to say. Why are, you, why are you scared of the truth? That's so weird. Why is that? How is you, that weird? <laughs> it's just, it's, it's presumptuous of you to think that I don't know my wife well enough oh to know God. the truth. Oh, that's what's weird. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, you do know. That's why you don't want to ask her. I, I, you know she wouldn't care okay you're right that's it i totally you've guessed it you've outed me here uh-huh uh-huh look start you're making stardust uncomfortable even stardust <laughs> knows no. even stardust knows how cringy this is Sitch. Nah, it's fine <laughs> it's See, weird chat chat they want to know chats chats on board here i already answered the question mm. let us mm -hmm. let us let us move on <laughs> You're a truth seeker, aren't you, Adam? <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Do you, Stardust, is your is your stream a comedy stream? Do you? Yeah, we joke around a lot. So okay, it's fine. good. That's good to know. Okay. It's not changed. You you said it was blood sports. Is that still a term oh, people one of the, use? Uh, yeah, the panel show that I run is like semi blood sports, but. Yeah. Mm. Nice. Well, I got to get Sitch on the blood sports. Sitch is an excellent debater. <sighs> He's much better than me, but Sitch is debating Destiny on uh, critical race theory. Did you know that? When is that happening? Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's going to be huge. I didn't know that. When is that happening? It's a secret right now, but <laughs> okay. it's a secret from you when the date is, but oh, okay. I don't want you to get stressed out about it. Uh-huh. That means it's not happening. It's coming up. You just pretty, made this up. It's coming up pretty quick here, though. Maybe okay. Sunday. Let's get back to the it's video. Like, I mean, I showed up, you know, 2016, and now here we are, and Ian is doing different stuff. Like, Ian as a person has not changed very much in, like, regards to his, like, moral stance on a lot of things. But, like, Ian and how he feels about how he wants to put himself on the Internet has changed. Mm -hmm. But I think that was going to happen no matter what. That's what he always says. Mm -hmm. That That's had to happen. Yeah, I think those he, videos, like you said, now they were yeah. a hit piece, and when you look back at it, you cringe. At yeah, it. absolutely. It's not something that could have been sustainable. Even notice how the women are doing all the talking in this video. <laughs> I just want to point that. Oh, out. You have a problem with that, do you? <laughs> well, I they're definitely driving the conversation here. I don't have a. I have no problem with it. I'm just saying I'm noticing mm -hmm. a lot of okay. deferring. And that's what they all say. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm noticing all, a lot of deferring. I didn't even notice that till you pointed it out, Adam. Yeah, I'm, because, yeah, he has a problem with it. Yeah, I'm gender blind. I didn't even notice this yeah. at all. What are you trying to say? Can you spin your hair like this? <laughs> While you talk? And if you want... Who, me? Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> what? Who, who so happened? Yeah, I think those he, videos, like you said, now is this is this like a biological thing? I'm just curious. Oh, they were yeah, a hit a piece, and thing. when you look back at it, you cringe. At yeah, it. absolutely. It's not something that could have been sustainable. <laughs> Fuck, I gotta Forget stop on it. the no. Forget I want your sexism. Adam. No, I want to stop on the reaction shot of Ethan because Ethan's reaction shot is, oh, if someone's laying down the law. I better shut up. Mm -hmm. that That's had to thing. happen yeah I think those he... videos like you said <laughs> ethan does this little eyebrow raise like oh he has like face tourette's i don't think you can read into his yeah no. you can't help it he's doing no. he's like mommy's talking now everyone shut uh -huh. up okay 
said now if they were a hit piece and when you look back at it you cringe at yeah, it absolutely it's not something that could have been <laughs> he literally sighs there you didn't see that oh my god you're i think you're reading it this way too no, much no this is hilarious sounds like you have some issues to work out adam mm -hmm. i have i issues. agree yeah. yeah why with women I love strong women. And not women. asking them questions about you doing gay porn. I love strong women, especially when they boss. I wonder how much Adam's wife gets to speak. That's, how, <laughs> that's what I'm asking. Plenty. <laughs> yeah, when you guys talk, what's their, what's their conversation ratio? This is like so 80, weird. 20 you? This is so weird. Uh, I'd say... <laughs> even if you wanted to look if you didn't change you couldn't look now he's gonna totally back her up you just mm -hmm. be you'd be kim star right yeah. yeah and also yeah yeah youtube <laughs> i missed it this playing with the hair thing so you have a problem with that do How guys many dudes play with their beards do oh i, I yeah it, it yeah no they it does, do play that with is their annoying beards. Yeah, yeah how many times how many times do you call that out huh we did actually call well, it out. I did, yeah. Double when, standards when here. Va no, when yeah. Vosh was playing with the beard, I called it out like three or four times. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. definitely. All right. Okay. Fair Weirdo enough. beard playing. I haven't seen you play with your hair once in this, once on this live stream. Uh, yeah. I feel like it's um. Mm -hmm. Well, no, I I will occasionally. It's okay. usually to fix it or like fix it, but yeah. Sure, um, I got it. It's a little yeah. different, yeah. I do that too. We've changed as a platform. Mm -hmm. They don't allow stuff like that anymore, like they did back then. Everything changes. Yeah. And like yeah. so, you shouldn't feel like. <laughs> yeah. You're it's good. You changed. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. I think, well, I'm sure you know that, but yeah, I guess yeah. you have insecurity about it because yeah. of Kim Star and people like him. What? What? You have insecurity about it because of Kim Star and stuff. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. That was an interesting video. So what Not do you really. think? Uh, I think Idubs is a cuck now. It's just sad because I used to really like his content. I think he needs to go back to being edgy. Very he wasn't sad. even really that edgy. He was just, I don't know, calling people out. Yeah, I didn't think his videos were... I mean, I did think Leafy's videos were definitely mean-spirited. Right. I never thought ethan's videos or or idub's videos were mean-spirited yeah no i agree all right that's the video you got any final thoughts stardust mm, not really not really i, I think it is kind of sad that and like she is thinking about whether she ruined his life or not um because like at the end of the day it's still like his choice right uh mm -hmm. so it's on him if he if his audience doesn't like what he's doing it's still like he kind of made that choice right so right well i mean it's yeah. I, I understand what you're saying but you obviously yeah. you know she's still gonna feel responsible even if it's warranted or not marriage yeah. does civilize men quite a bit it's one of the advantages of of monogamous societies and i i mean i think that's a good thing Mm -hmm. But it, the evidence of it in this video is just, I mean, it's pretty It didn't obvious. civilize them? It simplified them? Is that what you're saying? Well, no, it did civilize them. You have the you have the two women in this video talking about how, you know, their old content was mean and <laughs> mean-spirited. And she even calls them hit pieces on people, right? But now I, they're older and they're more mature and they're married and they have kids and they're just, they need to be more civilized. I don't think Ela is responsible for Ethan's content changing. Oh, really? She's like a, she's like a pushover. Okay. When, when I've seen these videos of her. Okay. And Ethan's like a very, seems like a very strong personality. It seems more like he started streaming he fell into the same trap that we all fall into where you say, Hey, streaming's a lot easier. You generally make a lot more money uh, than doing the very long spending a month on a single video. That's either a hit or miss. And then while he was doing that, he was doing interviews with a lot of famous Californian people 
and you just kind of slowly got sucked into that mold. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's some like stereotype Ela, you know, wussified Ethan or anything like that. Mm -hmm. You sexist pig for even suggesting that. Well, I'm right, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. Hi, you just listened to a clip from the Sitch and Adam show. If you like what you heard, you can listen to our live show right here on this channel on Sunday, starting at 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern. And if you want, you can super chat us. We read $20 and up super chats on the show and then do a follow-up stream on the following Tuesday where we read the rest of the unread super chats and interact with fans of the show. Subscribe to this channel right here to listen to the live show or to listen to more of our awesome clips.